so how the blood sugar level is going to affect the extraction and what will be the complications because of it so come let's go into the topic today and know what is the reason behind it so how a uh, diabetic patient is related to extraction why blood if the blood glucose level is increased we have to avoid extraction what is the uh, complication we are going to get so before knowing this we have to keep the extraction separately and know what is the problem around the diabetic patient so when the um, patient has diabetes they usually have periodontal and gingival problem and i will explain you why because all the bacteria around us attracts to the glucose so when you have a bacteria the bacteria tends to go for a glucose area and the glucose will promote the growth of the bacteria so uh, it is like a attraction so when there is a sugar the bacteria will get attracted to it so the same concept it, when it comes to oral cavity we all know there is billions of uh, microorganisms present in our oral cavity usually so when we have a um sugar level increased in our circulation the uh, blood which is coming in your or which is supplying your tissues will tend to attract the bacteria which is present in the oral cavity so which will increase the periodontal and gingival problems and when it comes to extraction the same thing acts in that also because the usual extraction procedure is we have to extract a tooth and there will be a socket created and that socket will be filled with a blood and there will be a blood clot present there so in that uh, hole the blood will be present and that blood will heal the uh, hole and that socket will be healed and there will be a bone formation and tissue formation and that leads to a normal uh, closed surface so when it comes to diabetic patient the blood which has increased blood sugar will be filled in the socket will attract a huge amount of bacteria to the uh, concentrated area and there will be a infection and that infection will lead to a dry socket and that dry socket will lead to a next level that is necrosis of the bone and tissues around it and at the same time the epinephrine which we are using in the local anesthesia will tend to increase the blood sugar level to equalize the low sugar level in your blood and that will lead to inhibiting the act of insulin towards the blood or tissues so to avoid that also we have to go for blood sugar test so the normal sugar level it should be about in fasting it should be about 90 and in post pandial it is it should be about uh, 140 so it can be extended up to 160 or 180 we can manage it but beyond 200 it is very difficult to manage we have to reduce the blood sugar level and then only we have to go for the extraction or else the complications will be severe so to avoid the complication we have to go for a blood check up before going to a extraction so if you like this video please do like share and subscribe to this channel